Hey everybody and thank you so much for tuning in to watch Life's Magical Journey. I'm Life and this is the best channel for learning, growing, and even sharing your own experiences when it comes to your spiritual journey. So as you're watching the video, please go ahead and consider subscribing. Today's video we're doing something a little bit differently um, just because this is an unboxing. I have done an unboxing for my bay leaves before but this is kind of a it has nothing to do with spirituality type of unboxing we are going to unbox this coffee grinder and the reason I got the coffee grinder is so that I can um, so that I could grind my bay leaves and make a bay leaf powder you guys know I do a lot of work with bay leaves I burn them for a variety of reasons I cook with them and so that kind of is related to my spiritual journey However, we're going to separate the video. So this is going to be just an unboxing. And for this case, we are going to make cayenne pepper. So we got some red chilies. I love, love, love spicy food. So we are going to unbox this. I'm really excited because I have been wanting to use bay leaves more in my cooking. And I just... I'm a lazy chef. I don't, I'm not really uh, into cooking really that much and the sunlight is going down. Let me pause and see where we're at. Okay, so I think we got it, we got it looking good at least for this moment. So I haven't opened this. Um, so let's just kind of see. This is the electric the it's called Mueller electric coffee grinder and I read quite a few reviews and did my little bit of research and I decided to get this one just because it seemed like for the money it was the most powerful it was the quietest one like it this really had some really decent reviews to it and so I think, you know, like like I saw on the videos and so I watched a lot of videos on these because I really wanted that. I really want to be able to make like seasoning, like really fine, um, really fine seasonings to use. So that's why I did so much research on it. So let's just see what it comes with. It comes in bubble wrap. It is all plastic, but it comes, yeah, comes with bubble wrap around it. They're telling me congratulations. You made the world a better place today. Instructions, which I mean, just told you the model number. I don't really do instructions, y'all. We're just gonna, I watched the videos. <laughs> I don't really do that, so I'm not gonna fake it for y'all. So let's just see. I might have to look at the instructions actually a little bit at least. So it's just in a bubble wrap bag it looks really nice it looks so this is a coffee grinder right so of course you can make your own fresh coffee which I do drink coffee here and there so maybe I'll get some coffee beans one day the cord is not that long but again this is a kitchen appliance so you're not expecting it to like be very long Oh, does come with a protective seal over the plug. So Mueller, this company has been around for quite some time. We're not going to go into all that today. I want to see what this does. But this, this is a trusted company. So as far as the research I did, I was like, okay. We can go with the Mueller brand. So it does coarse, medium, and fine grind. So I, you do it for longer. So I guess the strength is just what it is. You just turn it on and you just do it for longer if you want it to be very fine versus just a coarse grind. And it is all about coffee, but I mean, like I said, from what I saw in the videos, it does everything. So, operating instructions, blah, blah, blah. Remove lid from the base. And I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna unplug it and just kind of rinse everything. Let 
Just rinse it off. Just in case, you know. And then we'll plug it back in in a second. Blah, blah, blah. That's not the page I was even on. It's pretty standard, okay? So, I don't like that. I guess I just... Because it didn't say. Did it say? Okay, yeah. Fill the stainless steel bowl. So I guess you just fill it to where the stainless steel goes up. I hope y'all can see that. Let me bring it closer. So I guess you just fill it to where the stainless steel goes up. Not any higher than that. So that's what we'll do. That doesn't make any sense though, does it? Because that's not a lot of coffee, is it? So, we'll see. These smell so good. I think I'm hungry. I'm hungry right now, so... I am gonna watch a couple a couple more videos on this. I didn't, I got so excited I just opened it and I just came in here and set up and getting it going. Okay, where is girl? Oh, I think you just push it. Hold on. I'm kind of nervous. So, we got them all in there. We got a decent amount. Oh my goodness. Didn't realize I was going to do that. Oh, so that is the on-off button. This, this here is the on-off button. I didn't realize that. I thought I was pushing on this, but it's actually this. It's not as quiet as I would like it to be, but... yes okay we just made our own cayenne pepper literally like I love that it's perfect isn't it that is awesome because cayenne pepper is kind of expensive and I love cayenne pepper so I've been wanting to well it just randomly came to me that when I was in the store the other day that I should make my own and yes that looks really good I'm gonna make a little bit more because that's not really that much but I have a few jars of cayenne pepper so no you know there's no problems but let's just make a little bit more just to give it another test and I do want to fill it up a little bit more Kind of filled it up pretty, filled it up pretty good. Just make sure the front goes that way. It's nice and snug on there. <laughs> Sounds about right. They said like 20 seconds, I think. Yeah, this thing, this thing's not playing no games, okay?
Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, so y'all, I guess, like, really, I could make my own black pepper. I could make my own pink Himalayan salt. I mean, I can make all kinds of stuff, couldn't I? Um, this thing is really simple. It was um, really inexpensive. Let me tell you guys how much I paid for it because I forget. It wasn't very much though. It was $22.97. So it was really inexpensive. I am going to put the link to this in the description of course. Just have fun with this. Make your own bay leaf powder to put in your food because you know when you cook with bay leaves you have to sift the bay leaves out afterwards because the dried well if they're dried if you have your own bay leaf tree which a lot of you do a couple of you do um then you know of course the bay leaves are really soft because they're they're not dried but if you're using dried bay leaves like i do then of course you're gonna have to sift them out and so that's why i wanted this so i can use actual bay leaf powder for my food comment down below if you guys are gonna get this or you have something like this and you're used to grinding up stuff what are what all can you do with it that's what i'm really excited about because I just thought to myself like hey I could put peppercorns in here I could put all kinds of stuff in here and it's it's gonna grind it up pretty fine and so have fun with it thank you guys so much for watching my nose is kind of running because this guy and pepper uh, I'm excited to be here doing this kind of stuff with you guys if you like this type of content from me please go ahead and hit like but also comment down below and actually say that so that I know that you want to see more of these types of videos from me and also share your experiences with what you're grinding of course i said that already and then share this content with anyone who you might be thinking might want to make their own uh spices or ground coffees and things like that just so they know that this is a really good it's small it's going to be cost effective it's only 22.97 okay so i just wanted to show you guys how easy like it was really really easy to clean out I just like washed it out you know with some um, soap and water so it was really easy I do highly recommend this product so far if I have any issues with it I will update you guys and so and it came really quickly so it's by Mueller if you know anybody who's looking to do that type of stuff on their own, then share this content with them. And as usual, I'll see you next time.